What's up, YouTube family? Back with a quick video on the fly, y'all. I just want to make a quick video about yesterday. I went out with the guy uh, uh, starting start the wheelchair. Y'all know I'm about to get in the wheelchair transportation. Just letting y'all know my experience with that yesterday. It was very, very interesting. There's nothing like running child transportation. Mind y'all, this guy has about six vehicles, six or seven vehicles. Yesterday, he only had about four or five of them on the road. I think four, he's down. He's down on staff right now. He had about 16 trips. Uh, then we had five trips that was called in that day. Whole different animal than child transportation. Uh, so I just want to share with y'all my experiences um, as I build my wheelchair transportation, non-emergency medical transportation side of my company. Uh, I just want to share everything. First thing I want to let y'all know, you got to be systematic. They uh, systematic has systems in place. They had to walk. They got to walk. You talk. You got to have software. Once you get in the, getting into five, six, seven cars and all of them running 30 trips a day, stuff like that, you got to have things in place. It's very different from just you and another person running it, you know, it's than, than a two-man show. Uh, you had a dispatch person. They were working in you. Man, they was working that thing. Uh through the microphone, they had the microphones or the walk, you no, know, the walkie talk, it's not a microphone, they had the walkie talkies, if something happened, uh, then you would hit, they would uh, reach out to the other person, see if they could get the person, etc. cetera. Uh, dispatch person would call in if they had new calls to see if they could squeeze it in. The system they got, they got a route system. I had all that in later videos right now, I'm just giving a quick overview of everything that happened yesterday. Uh, they had the routes, the routes, the route, the, uh, the trips were already printed out the night before some software system we got and let you know what driver going to get that person and what time, the time spot. So everything can be perfect to give you enough time. So I know I'll be getting that software as I grow. Uh, the next thing they had, they had the, uh, inside the, uh, not Tom Tom, the other GPS, they got some type of system with that with cameras in the car. Then they send, the dispatch person can send any, uh, any routes where you got to go at the person name, message, anything you need to know about them, a Saturday, send it right to the GPS for you won't have to look down on your paper before you don't have to look at your phone. You just tap it on the GPS. You go where you got to go at. If you're lost, if you can't find an address, they have a software that can let you know what's close to that place. That way, you know, if you're far off, if, if, you, if you're too far, he, we couldn't find an address. He hit on a walkie-talkie. She straight was able to tell us, if y'all roll past this gas station, y'all too far. It's right before this gas station. So software is very, very important when you're trying to be more effective when uh when you have five, six vehicles out there trying to get things done. Uh so for y'all that don't have seven, eight cars or uh in y'all uh wheelchair transportation, but that's a place y'all wanna get. The first thing I can tell you from what I learned is you're gonna have to get software. You're gonna have to spend money on this stuff to be more efficient. It will help you with your daily operations. Uh, me, I'm only starting out with me and, and another driver, but I'm just throwing out there what I learned yesterday. Uh, he, shoot, man, and y'all, he getting, uh, where he at in his business, man, he getting $90. He getting $160 round trip. He charging people, he charged like $80, $85 just to get in his vehicle. But he had all nice cars, uh, everything. And we did a lot of private pay yesterday. These are regular people paying out of their pockets, people paying for their mother and father to get to where they need to go at. Uh, so you can build your business on private pay. But he does have some third-party companies that he worked with. Uh, I, he actually was on the phone with one of them yesterday, and he told them that their rate, he negotiated a higher rate right in front of me, y'all. Uh, so, uh, so there's a lot of ways you can do it. Yeah, I'm excited about this chapter right here. I want to keep this video under six minutes, but I just wanted to share with y'all my experience working with him yesterday and what I learned from that. And if you want to grow to six, seven, six, seven cars in a wheelchair, uh, side of transportation or non-emergency medical transportation, you're going to need systems in place. You're going to have to use software. You're going to have to have a dish, a dispatch person. It just can't be you. 
in your one driver. It's not going to work like that. You're going to burn yourself out trying to get all your, your, your trips in place for the next day. New calls coming in. You're going to have to have it. I saw it, but I mean, they, they were working that thing yesterday, man. And uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. And I know he probably did over, probably made $3,000 yesterday. Uh, but y'all be blessed. I'll catch you on the next one. I got to pick a client up right now. So I, I'm in the process of moving, y'all. So I'm selling my house. So I, I don't know when I'm going to maybe make videos at home or whatever. Just a lot going on. And uh, that's a new chapter in my life, too, though. But uh, I share with y'all, I show y'all what we, uh, I keep y'all posted about some other things going on. You know, just stay, just stay focused out there. Keep growing y'all businesses, y'all. And uh, we gonna get this money, man. Y'all be blessed. I catch y'all on the next one.